Hello everyone, it's Glennie here with the Chilton Public Library, here to reconnect with you and with ourselves as we sit in our chairs and take your hands to your thighs, inhale length up the back of your neck, Ooh, why not? Exhale, nod your chin to your chest, inhale, look straight ahead, exhale, chin to your chest, look Hang with your exhale, and then inhaling back up to looking straight ahead. Last one as we exhale, chin towards chest, just heavy head. And then stay there, and let's just breathe together, looking down either with your eyes closed or looking down at the floor between your feet, feet are hip distance apart. And again, inhaling length from the base of your spine all the way out through the crown of our head. So even though we're nodding our head forward, chin, sort of towards the ground, looking maybe towards our feet. We're still tall, we're not slouchy. We have a long, spacious spine, inhaling, exhaling, a heavy head. And then from this place, we're just gonna inhale, look to the left, exhale, center. Inhale, look to the right, exhale, center. We're going to do that a few times. Inhaling, look to the left. Exhale, center. Inhale, look to the right. Exhale, center. Follow that rhythm. And next time you come center, gradually with an inhale, Find your way back to your tall, straight ahead place. Let's come up on our one toe and the other, one and the other, one and the other, yes. And now let's take our nose and we are going to draw a, an infinity sign with our nose. So just take, and we're exploring our neck. The reason we're doing this is not to just be writing with our nose, but we're using our nose to lead our head and explore the musculature of your neck with a lovely infinity sign. We're going from side down, up and around, and side down, so, and play with it, explore. It's not about being perfect, it's about tuning in, playing with breath, feeling what you feel, noticing what you notice, and then come back to center and shrug. Take those shoulders up to your ears, shrug, wiggle your hands, blah, 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 back and forth, side to side, and then exhale, down. Inhale, shrug, exhale, down. Inhale, shrug, exhale, lower. Inhale, shrug, and lower. Let's go for an atmospheric swim, shall we? Again, before we go, check your feet. Are we kind of at an Right angle, that's the word I'm looking for. Knees, right angle. Ankles under your knees. Sitting, not necessarily sitting back. If you're sitting back in your chair and slouching, maybe inhale. Don't touch the back of your chair. Scooch forward a little bit. So we can, with our breath, breathe expansion, extension, and reconnection with our breathing. So this time, with our hands on our thighs, we are going to actually inhale, drop them to the side. Inhale, up to the sky for our atmospheric swim, and exhale. Let's inhale to the nose, exhale to the mouth. Inhaling to the nose, swimming our arms up. Exhaling it down. This time we'll inhale up and look up. Exhale, lower down, we're looking down at the floor. <sighs> Inhale, expanding arms, looking up to the sky. Exhale, swimming it down, looking down to the floor. Two more of these. <sighs> so then we'll inhale our arms up to the sky. And then we're going to exhale your right arm to the back of your chair arm and your left hand to 
your right knee. Left hand, right side of your knee. And we're just going to take some breathing here and pause. As we inhale, length so your chin is over your sternum. Now, you can either have your arm, your elbow, kind of hanging over the back of your thing, of your chair, chair back. Or you can take your hand to the top or to play around with what feels right. You can use a little, you can use your chair as a little bit of a fulcrum to inhale, length, exhale, maybe push a little bit with your hand on the chair and look back behind you. A nice seated twist. Inhaling, exhaling. And with your next inhale, bring your arms up to the sky. And exhale, right arm to the left side of your knee. And your hand comes back to your chair back or your seat back. And you either use it as a fulcrum or you can just relax your arm back and use this as your fulcrum or both. Chin over sternum. Inhaling length. And exhale, maybe a little push with your hand. Again, and your knee is pushing into your hand. Your hand is pushing into your knee. And you're just finding a nice twist. Looking back behind you. And then coming, coming back to center. Let's shake our hands. Shake our hands. Shake your shoulders. Shimmy it down. And shimmy it up. Take a foot. Shake your foot. Shake your leg. Shake your arm and your leg. Take it back down. The other leg. Shake it. Shake your hands. Just releasing tension. Just loosening, loosey-gooseying everything and shaking and then bringing it back. Then let's just take our hands and slap. Let's go start with our hips. Yes, back here, our hips. Let's take a little time to just wake up our bodies, wake up our hips with a little tapping. We're going to slap the thighs, the outside edges of the thighs, and we're going to gradually, on the outside of the knees, we're gradually going to go down. And we're going to slap the calves, outside edges of the calves, the ankles, slap the tops of your feet, and then move it to the inside of your ankles, and we'll slap the inside. Well, you know, we went down the outside, we're coming up the inside. Nice. Now inhale, tallness. Exhale. Slide it down. Inhale it up. And inhale it up. Inhale it up. Last one. As we slide our hands down the outsides of our legs, down towards the angles across the feet. And roll your shoulders in and then around, up and back. Nice. Now let's think of waking up our hands. Let's rub them first. Create a little heat. Create a little heat in our hands as we rub them. And then let's take our right hand and just start our shoulders. Our shoulders hold a lot of tension. So let's come across our chest and opposite shoulder along the top. And you find what pressure feels good to you. I like to whap, whap, whap. But whatever feels good to you, do that. And then we're going to go down our biceps. Find the biceps, slap them a little, wake them up. Going down the tops, the backs of your hand. Let's clap. And then we're going to slap on the, up the inside, just like we did with our legs. Let's go. Do that one more time. Down the back and outside, tops, palm, up the inside. And then let's do a cross the chest and work on this shoulder, the other shoulder. We're doing the other side now. To really bring some life and wakefulness and kindness to ourselves. We're, we're, we're really sort of tapping alertness and awareness and relaxation and release into all of this as we go down to our biceps. Slap, slap happy, slapping the backs, 
slapping the palms, coming up and across. And let's go down one more time. The outside, top of your hands, clap, bring it up here. And then both hands, just fingertips, just little fingertips. And just do your clavicles. Yes. And maybe just below the clavicles. And maybe the tops of your shoulders and around here. Let's do our upper chest area. Nice. Nice. Now take your right hand and just, just sort of nicely, oh, like that. A nice smooth sweep. We're going to sweep down the outside, across the palm, and up the inside and across. And down the outside and up the inside and across and down the outside. Under the palm, across the inside. Yes. And one last one. This, to me, this feels really good and soothing. And then we're going to take the other arm and it's going to go down the outside onto the palm off the inside and down and inside up. Exhale it down and up and down and up. And now maybe ooh, a, little, a little of that. Taking your hands to the top of your shoulders. Make little circles on opposite walls of the room with your elbows, elbow circles. And then we're going to inhale up, look up, and exhale back and down and out. And then inhale up, kind of rocking. Exhale, looking down, and your wings go back and up. Forward and up. Exhale, they go back and out. Inhale, elbows together. Up, look up. Exhale, looking down, shoulders go up and out. And this finding this nice rocking movement with your breath, with your movement. One more. And then finding your way again, forward, and we're simply going to do elbow circles big. 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 Oftentimes when we sit and slouch and work seated, we can kind of collapse and become unconscious about our bodies. And it's nice to wake our bodies up periodically. If you have long periods of sitting, it's nice to truly move your body in this place. Wake it up. Get things moving. Let's take our hands again to the sides of our chair. And we're going to inhale the right arm up. Exhale, lean it over. Inhale, center. Exhale, lower. Other arm, inhaling up. Exhale, reach it over to the side, whatever that means for you. Inhale, center. Exhale, lower. Inhale, rise up your arm. Exhale, lean it over. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, up. Exhale, over. Inhale up and down. Inhale up, reach it over. Inhale up and down. Let's scooch forward on our on our seats a little bit and take your legs really wide. And we're going to start by swaying. I invite you to explore a little side to side. Lead with your shoulders and maybe your elbows. Maybe lead with your elbow and your shoulder side to side, finding a little flow in our spine. Notice where you feel it. You want it to be easy. And the movement is sort of the grease, the oil that is keeping things fluid and flowing and not cranky. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, see how big you can make it. Let's, uh, let's try circles, uh, you know, whatever that means to you. See, sometimes if I think too hard, I can't do it. Forward and back. And you're going to be straightening and bending and reaching and flowing. And you just explore your circle, wherever it is today. I'm going big right now. And we're going to do a few in one way. It just feels so good. One more in the direction we're going. 
And then the next time you come up to your tall seated place, reverse direction and go the other way. And sometimes that takes a moment. Don't think too hard. Just do it. One more. And then find your way, toe heel back to hip distance apart. And we'll play with our cat cow. So we're gonna inhale, chest forward, hug your scaps to the back, look up at the sky. And then exhale, slide your hands forward to your knees, straighten your arms, tuck your chin, roll it back, curl your back. And then inhale, rising up with your sternum, leading with your sternum, sliding your hands back on your thighs, elbows kissing, reaching up, looking up. Exhaling, exhaling, sliding hands forward, tucking chin, rolling cat. Exhaling, sliding elbows back, looking to the sky, feeling the scaps in the back. Exhale, tucking your chin, curling, rolling it back. And I like doing this with your hands sliding back, elbows back. And last one, rolling it forward. Now let's take a moment to just circle your toes. Come up on your toes and do a couple of circles one way. Come up on your toes and do a couple of circles the other way. Maybe come find a center place in your chair that feels good. And you're going to inhale your knee up to your chest and do foot circles. So let's explore your foot circle and say thank you feet for all that you do and then go the other way, foot circles. And then just squeeze it into your body. And maybe take your knees and interlace, those are your fingers, interlace under your knees and, and relax your legs so you're sort of there. Inhale, a straightening, whatever that means to you, and exhale, release it. Inhale, and maybe you take it down. Inhale, lengthening and reaching and flexing the foot, exhale, Hug it back in, and uh, I think we were inhaling an extension and exhaling a contraction. Inhale, reach. Exhale, hug. Inhale, reach. Exhale, hug. And now this next time you hug it up, take your right elbow, except that it's an ankle, figure four. Take that ankle elbow and put it on that thigh knee and your, oh, can you feel it? I can feel it. All of this looks so simple and looks so innocuous. And it's also greatly, wonderfully, expansively healing and kind to yourself to take yourself through these breath movement flow awarenesses. They, they really can help de-stressify, calm your nerves, and wake up your body. So I'm feeling that. And here you can either stay tall, inhale, and or you can exhale a little forward. A little forward fold could help you find a little more stretch in this right hip, in this hip area of the bended leg. In fact, inhale length. And then exhale, just sort of hang your head and relax. We'll take five breaths here. You can feel the nice stretch in the back of your neck. Maybe feeling the stretch in your hip, wherever you're feeling it. You want to feel a nice, you don't want to hurt. So it's not about hurting and punishing yourself. It's about feeling a nice, easy back off if it's a little too much. And then we'll come inhaling back up. Give your knee a hug, set it back down, and hug your other knee up. And foot circles, same as we did with the other side. Circling one way, circling the other way. Clasping your hands under your knee, 
As we think about hugging in, then exhale. Inhale, reach your leg long, whatever that means to you. This is all an invitation suggestion, inhaling, hugging it in, and exhaling, and I already messed it up for you and switched it on you. So generally speaking in yoga, I personally like to think of stretching and reaching with a, reaching long with an inhale and curling with an exhale, but play around with it, make it yours. Having said that, I'm now inhaling it up and exhaling it forward. There's no one way to do any of this. Bring it back up for one last hug. Find your figure four on this side. Oh, inhale, find the nice tall length that we have. One hand on knee. You can also play with a little weight here, you know, pushing a little bit if you like. If not, don't. Inhale and exhale. Tuck your chin. Curl it forward and find a little forward fold, whatever that means to you. You're simply exhaling and releasing and relaxing, maybe feeling a nice stretch in the back of your neck, maybe feeling a nice stretch in your hip. And always listening to your body, adjusting as you need to. And come back up, hug your knee in, come back to seated. Let's take our inhale, long and tall. Exhale your right ear towards your right shoulder. And we're just going to sit, elbows, maybe do a shoulder roll. Heavy elbows, shoulders down, right ear to the right shoulder. And then as you're ready, take your left arm long. Inhale, center. Exhale, the other ear to the other shoulder. A couple of breaths here. And as you're ready, take your other arm long. So if your head is tilted to the left, left ear, left shoulder, your right arm is long. And then bringing it back to center. Let's end today with maybe a little belly rub. Rub your belly. Oh boy, rub that belly. Let's get things moving. Maybe you go opposite directions like this, then find a count uh, clockwise. Rub your belly in a nice clockwise and love your belly. Greet your belly. Hello, belly. And rubbing it clockwise. Clockwise is always a really good if you ever have issues with tumminess. Clockwise rubbing is very nice for getting things moving, so to speak. Take your hands again in front as we rub our hands. And let's bring our hands to our foreheads. We can be thinking of our nice thumb greeting our foreheads as I invite you to embrace kind thoughts till next we meet. Rub your hands again, bring them to your heart, thumbs to sternum, as I invite you to cultivate kind feelings till next we meet, rubbing rubbing, rubbing, thumbs to lips, inviting you to entertain kind words, kind speech till next we meet. Thank you for tuning in for a chair yoga. Anytime you're sitting feeling crunched, remember, you can move. You might be sitting, but you can always move. It's been a great pleasure. You enjoy, and I'll see you next time. Bye now.